Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault and I bought another gun. A gun that's been on my wish list ever since it came out. It's been kind of hard to track down. I've actually asked a couple of local FFLs. If you see one come through your inventory or you can buy one, let me know. Well, eventually I found this one at Shields, a local kind of big box store that has an amazing gun collection. I even got recognized there. The person that was helping me asked me, do you have a YouTube channel? I said, yeah, he goes, Texas Gun Vault. Yeah, so he recognized me, he even gave me a free shirt. So yeah, I got some swag from this purchase as well. But I bought a Beretta M9A4, supposedly the latest and greatest and most updated version of the M9 series of pistols. I love the Beretta 92 series of guns, and one of my favorite is the M9A3. Now, a lot of people think the only difference between the M9A3 and the M9A4 is the optics mounting system, but it's actually a lot more than that. But I wanna unbox this, show you guys what comes in the packaging, and then I wanna do a quick compare and contrast with the A3 variant and see what they've changed. All right, so here's the outer shell to the box. The M9A4 comes in. It looks just like the M9A3, and they're obviously trying to sell up its military provenance. However, I think the M9A4 is more for civilians than it is for military or police. I could be wrong on that, but they've decided to keep the same packaging from the M9A3, which of course was Beretta's entrant or one of their entrants into the M17 modular handgun system, and it was an updated version of the M9, which a lot of people think is a fantastic pistol, and I do agree with them. So here's the box, just old paper, nothing special. I do find it funny that they do give you a target on the box. And the best part is it says, make sure to take product out before using target. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so let's open this thing up. And inside you get your ammo box, just like the A3. It is branded Beretta M9A4, flat dark earth box. All these guns, I believe, are in flat dark earth, but possibly like the A3 version, they will come out with black versions if that is what you want. Open it up here. Looks like very similar packaging. We have two magazines which are black, and we'll talk about the issues with those in just a moment. We get a couple of suppressor O-rings. We get some extra grip screws. Of course, you get the child safety lock. You get an extra set of grips if you prefer the wraparound kind. Then we get some paperwork and of course, the pistol. So let's put the pistol to the side here for just a moment. Get out the magazines. You do get a total of three magazines. They are 18 rounders. These have the black base plates on them. And the one that comes with the firearm does have a flat dark earth or tan base plate and does seem to be from a different manufacturer. As you can see, the witness holes are in different places. And as I mentioned, we will talk about those in just a moment. You also get some paperwork. Unfortunately, you don't get any swag. There's no stickers. I sure wish they would include a sticker. Just get your usual promotional material, owner's manual, so forth. You guys are used to seeing all that. And of course, I mentioned about the magazines, you do get this little card. Now, this might be time sensitive when it comes to this, because if you purchase this pistol in the far off future, this might not be an issue for you. But it says here, thank you for your purchase of the Beretta M9A4. Then it talks about how awesome the M9A4 is. But then it says, due to global supply challenges, we are unfortunately unable to provide the three FDE magazines included as part of your purchase at this time. In order to avoid any delays, we've included the following in your case. One FDE magazine, two black magazines. We will ship you two FDE magazines free of charge by March 2022 or when inventory becomes available. Please visit, and there's a website here, if you want to go log on for that magazine redemption. So you probably have to register the gun, fill it out, give them the serial number and so forth and where you bought it, and they will send you two magazines free of charge. That is actually really nice because when I first saw the M9A4 at one of my dealers, 
they were questioning why they came with the black follower magazines. I said, well, that is kind of weird. That is kind of a little cheap, but now we know why. It has to do with global supply chain. So you get two free magazines. That is kind of nice of them trying to make it right. So you get those two plus the one FDE and they will send you the other. All right, so obviously here is the pistol. It looks very nice and very reminiscent of the A3 variant. So let's go over this uh, pistol. I can tell you the frame here is a lot more gold than the original, and I will compare it in a moment to the A3, as mentioned. We also have some front cocking serrations. The grip texture seems to be a little bit different. I noticed that the safety is different. All of the models that I have seen out in the wild are G models, which means these are decocker only. So if the hammer is back, it only decocks and it is not a safety. I know many people like the G models. I personally prefer the F models, but these are convertible and you can buy the parts to convert it to an F model and it is an easy install according to everybody. So I'll probably do that. And of course, we do have the optics mounting system. Now, there's not a lot of real estate on the top of these Beretta slides, and this is probably the biggest downside and one of the reasons why the M9A3 was not selected as the new handgun for the U.S. Army, simply because even if you can mount an optic up here, there's not a lot of real estate to mount it securely. But I think Beretta has done a really cool job. I've seen a lot of pictures online of people mounting optics. They seem to work just fine, but that's also why I say this gun might be more for civilians than it is for military. I don't know if it's ever gonna win a military contract. But let's go over the differences between these two pistols, because many people are saying, essentially it's an M9A3 with the optics mounting plates. And I think it's a little bit more than that. As you can see here, comparing them side by side with the A3 on top and the A4 on the bottom, you can see a difference in the frame colors. And every frame that I've seen on the M9A4 is this golder frame. It matches the slide a little bit more. I think I personally prefer the color of the frame here of the M9A3. The grips are also very different. And I have the thin grips on both. The ones for the M9A3, I think, are a little bit nicer. They fit my hand. They're not as aggressive, but they do have a nice checkering to them. The one that's on the A4 is very sandpaper. They don't feel cheap, but they feel a little bit thinner. And when I touch them, they have a particular sound to them that the other grips do not have. These just feel a little bit more solid. The magazine release appears to be the same. I did notice that the safeties are a little bit different. One of the advantages to the M9A3 that I really liked was the fact that they took the safeties and they mounted them to be up a little bit more. One of the complaints with the M9 series in the U.S. Army was the fact that when you cock the slide and you grab it from the cocking serrations, people will inadvertently activate the safety. But when they're angled up like that, that is less likely to happen because they're angled up and all the pressure would try to put the safety off versus the safety on. I thought this was a nice little touch in addition. I can see that they have eliminated that with the A4 series. So this is the older style series. It is ambi, but those controls are facing directly forward. They've also added the front cocking serrations, as you can see. I know on many of the Performance M9 series guns or the 92 guns, like the 92X series, they do add the forward cocking serrations. I'm a big fan of that. I think that's very attractive. The M9A3 has more of a traditional look. I think both are very attractive. This particular one allows you, I think, to have more attractive roll marks. This one, they have to cram more information into a smaller portion of the slide. Both of these guns, I should say, are made in Gallatin, Tennessee, so they're both U.S.-made M9s. I do know that the M9A3s are still offered as Italian-made guns. I'm not sure if that's going to be the same with the M9A4. And now you see the top of the slides and arguably the biggest difference between these two guns. You have the M9A4 over here with the optics mounting solution, and down here on the A3, you don't have any options for that whatsoever. I do know there are companies that could mill these out, so you could mount a red dot, but now you can just get it straight from the factory that way. I'm trying to think if there's anything else on these guns that really stick out as being very different. The trigger pulls on them actually are a little bit different, and I think it has to do more with the grips. 
When it comes to the trigger bar, they're external on the Berettas, as you can see right here. So when you pull the trigger, you can actually see that part moving. I noticed that on these grips, this trigger bar rubs just a little bit. The grip is tight and there's nothing wrong with it, but it sounds and feels a little bit plasticky. On the M9A3, you don't have that. But I think it's more of a grip issue than it is an internal trigger issue. Everything else, as I mentioned, appears to be the same. It has the same type of checkering on the front and back straps. I really like the fact that Beretta eliminated the Beretta M9 hump on these models. But if you want that hump, you can still add these wraparound grips to get that desired feel and effect. You also have the A1 style rail on the front of both of these guns and the threaded barrel. So a lot of things are the same and a lot of things are different. But there you go, just a quick unboxing and compare and contrast to the M9A3. They're both gonna hold a very special place in my collection. I have a few standard M9s. I do need to get an M9A1 like the Marine Corps carried. They never really made an M9A2. I'm not really sure why they skipped over that. I have an M9A3 and now an M9A4. So yeah, I'm kind of a Beretta collector and nerd. Well, I guess I'm a nerd and collector of all types of guns, but there you go. An unboxing of the Beretta M9A4 and compare and contrast to the M9A3. Is it worth it? Only you know for yourself. But there you go. Let me know what your experiences are, what you think, and if you have any questions in the comment section below. So as always, thanks for watching.